Well, moving right along, here we are in Chapter 3, and Chapter 3 might seem a little out of place because it's really three chapters in and we haven't really gone over the main uh, task. And I, and I struggled with this. If you take a look, this chapter is Package Management, Saving, Encryption Logging, and Auditing. And when we take a look at this in the full scope of the course, you can see Chapter 4 is when we actually start digging into the tasks. Now, I, I personally wish there had been a better way to do this, a way in which I could have jumped you straight in and said, okay, let's get started here. But there are certain pieces of saving packages that deserve more, of a, more than just a gloss over. And I think it works best if you have the big picture before you start jumping in and working with the tasks. Because inevitably, once you start working with tasks, things are going to start working for you and you're going to get pumped and you're going to start getting excited. And then you're going to save your package, you're going to move it to another machine, and presto, bang, it doesn't work anymore. And you get a corrupt package error and oh no, what's going on? I'm going to help you prevent that problem, or at least make it less likely to happen, by helping you out here in Chapter 3. So I know it seems out of place. I know you're probably very anxious to get started. But trust me, I think this will help you out. I think this is, a, I think this is the best way. I could be wrong. Feel free to jump ahead. It's a, your course, basically. Uh, but I think this is the best way to get us started here. So what is chapter three all about? Well, this particular video is just kind of laying out how the chapter will be arranged. This first section is all about saving your packages. So we're going to talk about the SSIS package store. We're going to talk about how to save these in the file system, how to save them inside of SQL Server, how to see what's in your SQL Server, how to see how to export from your SQL Server. Uh, we'll talk about all of that management aspect of a package. Now we're also going to get into the package security, uh, including the protection level. Now this is a setting that is going to be very, very important to you as an SSIS, both developer or administrator. And I will show you some of the corrupt package errors and how to troubleshoot some of those. Because in many cases, it's really more of the error message being not clear than it is a corrupt package. And then we're going to finalize this core or this chapter with the idea of logging and auditing your packages. So we're going to see at the end something that's going to be very important for you when we get into chapter four, which is how can I know what aspects of my package last executed? What was the last thing that executed in my package and what did it do? So we're going to have to talk about the log providers and how all of that works. And we'll do that at the end of chapter three. Now, this isn't a particularly long chapter, uh, but there are three essential items that you need to take away from this chapter. So if you're going to be successful at SSIS, obviously you have to know how to save and edit your packages. I know that seems silly, right? Trust me. Okay. Um, there are some confusing bits here and there. You also have to be able to secure the usernames, passwords, uh, proprietary code that might be stored in your packages. You don't want someone to get a hold of a .dtsx file that has your SA account name and password stored in that file and then be able to actually figure out what it is from that. So you have to have a way to secure that confidential information. And I'm going to talk about how to do that in this chapter as well. And then for both logging and troubleshooting purposes, you need to know what's happened. When did the packages execute? How long did this step take? Were there any errors? What happened? So we're going to talk about various techniques of doing that as well. So it's a short chapter, not too long. Um, you are okay skipping this. If you knew all of this stuff from SQL Server 2005, there's not really anything that's changed significantly here. Uh, so go ahead and skip 
don't skip this though if you're just excited and ready to get started with the tasks I mean, you can do what you want, like I said. But I think this is important information that will help you in both A, your SSIS development career, but also B, with the rest of this course, because from this point forward, I'm going to assume that you've watched Chapter 3 and not really going to cover pet things like package protection levels or other important bits. So if, uh, if you did, though, decide, decide to skip this chapter and are still watching the video, chapter four is probably the most logical video to watch, ne chapter to watch next. Although some of you that are more admin related, uh, you probably will want to skip on to chapter eight. If one of your primary goals is to figure out how to manage the chapters and execute them and schedule them for execution, then chapter eight, that's what you're going to need to know. Now, chapter 8 is also possibly dependent on chapter 5 because in chapter 5 we talk about package configurations. If you aren't dealing with package configurations then chapter 5 can safely you can go straight to chapter 8 and ignore chapter 5. Uh, okay so uh, I tell you what let's just get started with the next video and we're going to talk about saving and managing files that are stored in the file system, MSDB and the SSIS package store. So I'll see you in the next video.